So, hello, my name is Sultana, and I started doing DoorDash and Uber Eats, and I just hit 50 deliveries on DoorDash and 100 deliveries on Uber Eats, and I thought I would let you guys come along with me for some rides. I don't know. I think this is a very good side gig. I've been struggling to back into a real job doing community or social media management in the gaming industry, so this has been something that has kept me busy in the meantime. And it's actually kind of addicting. Like, I've been going out almost every day for a few hours every day. Not like full time, but still like a good amount of hours and making enough money to pay my bills. So it's been great. If you're interested in following along, make sure you subscribe, like the video, and let me know what you'd like to see more of from this type of content. I don't really know where we're going with this, but I do feel like there is a lot of potential and a lot of fun stories and things that happen every day. So I thought I would, uh, share them with you guys. So I have uh, my first five ratings on DoorDash, all five stars, on time or early, 81%, you know, things happen. A 45% acceptance rate and completion rate of 98%. Because there was one that I canceled or something and I didn't realize how that worked. The issue in my area is I feel like Uber Eats is better than DoorDash. Like I've had double the amount of orders on Uber. So I think that in my market, which is in uh, the East Bay in uh, California, like Bay Area, Pleasant Hill, Concord, uh, Walnut Creek. So I've been learning all that. I just moved to the area too. So like it's also helped me more understand what's happening here and where like the good places to get orders are and all that fun stuff. Probably a dollar fifty to two dollars a mile on average is what I aim for and uh, I don't take anything worse than that because that sucks. I already drive so much more because of this but it's okay. It's all right. We're making progress. Uh, so on DoorDash, I am at a 45% acceptance rate. My first goal right now will be to try to get silver level on DoorDash. So I will take any Uber orders that I get today as well, but I am going to focus on trying to take all the DoorDash ones so that I can get to the 50% acceptance rate, which will unlock silver tier, which will allow me to get slightly better orders, supposedly, or any orders. I feel like sometimes I'm sitting for a long time and don't get anything, but yeah, that's just kind of how it goes sometimes, but that's okay. Let's see how today goes. All right, all right. Several days later. Okay, so it might be a couple days later than when I recorded the intro to this video, but that was because I didn't get any DoorDash orders on that day, and so I'm just continuing today. My acceptance rate is at 47% right now because I did get a couple yesterday and I wasn't ready to record. But today we're going to record every order I get on DoorDash and this is just a quick easy one but it's going in the direction of where I'm going to do my ship uh, shop at Safeway so I thought I would just take it and it would help my acceptance rating go up. I'm trying to get to 50% because that will allow the first tier of better offers hopefully. So we're gonna go pick up from Slow Hand Barbecue right now. What a four and a half five mile drive so it's not great but it's all about the acceptance rating right now so let's go. All right, that was easy. It was in a car dealership over here in Concord. Pretty easy. Let's get back on the road and see if we get any more orders. I feel like every day I go out, there's more and more interesting people, and weird things that people comment to me or say, so I'm going to share some of those with you as I come across them, because I think they're kind of funny. Everyone always comments on my hair. They love my hair. Everyone wants to know how I do it. Blah, 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 blah. And I'm always like, oh, thank you. I don't know. I do it at home. I've done it for years. I just do it. I mean, I could give you tips, but I'm not professional. So that's always a common one. I was just leaving Safeway to do a shipped order. I, like, crossed paths with the lady with the cart. And she was right next to my car, and I was, like, trying to get on her left, and she was on my right. And I, like, stuck beside her, and she's like, oh my god, you're so cute! And you have a cute red car! I'm like, thanks? 
I don't know. I'm bad with compliments. I'm always like, thanks, I don't know what to say, but thank you. Yeah. And I know I stand out. Just She was just really, like, nicely, like, complimenting me. And I'm like, I don't know how to handle this. What do I do? <laughs> so what, what do you say when someone compliments you? Because, like, I'm always like, thanks. And then I just laugh and kind of chuckle. I'm like, I don't know what else to say. I always want to say something about them, but I'm like, that feels weird. So then I just just laugh and walk away. <laughs> Still waiting for another DoorDash order. Hasn't happened yet, but uh, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna hopefully get to 50% today. That is the goal. Okay, okay, okay. There is a $10, uh, nine miles though. Oh, take me back to Martinez. Uh, I have to do it though. I'm gonna do it. It's a Dollar General shop for five items. I'm just gonna do it. Screw it. I don't want to, but I mean, I kind of feel like I should because the whole point Terrace. is to get my acceptance rating up, even if it means taking some crappy orders today. Also, I just picked up some donuts. I just started using this app called Too Good To Go. I'll link it down below. It's actually like a really cool app that's helping reduce food waste. So a lot of companies and restaurants will sign up and offer uh, mystery bundles of stuff for a cheap price. So I paid like $6 and got a big box of whatever these donuts are from a place called Chicks Donuts here in Concord. And I've gotten Mountain Mike's pizza buffet stuff. I've gotten boba tea. Holy crap. Six bucks for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, a whole dozen of fresh amazing donuts from this local place. So, um, anyone hungry? <laughs> but I gotta go do that order. I'm glad I got that pickup though. That's amazing. All right. A few minutes later. So I forgot to bring in this camera. <laughs> so no recording from inside there, but I will show you what they got. We got ramen, smart water, Tide, and uh, some socks, which they didn't have the style he wanted. I was like, oh, they don't have your style. What do you want? Other socks? And I found these ones. These were crew socks. They wanted ankle socks. They just said they didn't want to do laundry. They would have been fine with a refund, but I did find these and they said that was fine. And then the last thing. Yeah, that took a minute to find, but I got it all. I've never shopped in Dollar General here in California. So that was like really confusing. I don't know. I didn't know where anything was. All right, let's go 10 minutes, seven miles and uh, drop this off. Yeah. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Pretty solid. No tip on the order, but five dollar cash tip. So yeah, that's pretty great. I love getting an extra cash tip. And I was a little weary about taking this order in the first place, but it was worth it in the end. So heck yeah, we are at forty-seven percent still. <laughs> I've done two orders. <laughs> it's not a lot, but I should be going up at least a percentage. Let's see if we can get another one in this area. All right, so I did pick up an order at McDonald's while I was picking up an Uber order. So we're gonna go grab that as well since I'm trying to get my DoorDash numbers up. They were a little slow, so I hope that this isn't gonna take forever, but let's see. I grab that one, I guess. Here, thank you. So you know the great thing about this order I'm doing? I have two orders. One on Uber and one on DoorDash, and I'm going the exact same direction. It feels like almost the same exact drop-off. So we'll see where I end up, but uh, it's going the same exact direction for two orders, so that's huge. So I don't have to drive two separate directions. Usually that doesn't happen. Usually... Continue on Pacheco Boulevard for a half mile. Excuse me. I was talking. Usually you end up with one that goes one way, one that goes the other way, and then you gotta decide which one you have to take first, and I hate when I have separate orders on separate apps, but sometimes you make it work, and it's great, like this, so. Yeah. <laughs> Dang it, I wasn't recording. He was waiting on the street, so I opened the window and handed him the food. It was the quickest drop up. I didn't even have to park. <laughs> didn't have time to hit record. Oh well, all right. Next one is not the same place, but literally, Half a mile away from where I am. Avenue. So it's it's super great. Right? 
Jarva for Ivan. And that's how we do it. 625 for that one, 10 for the other one, I think. Moving on. All right, got my Wendy's order for Matt C. And while I was waiting, I also have a Uber order come in, so I'm gonna go back inside and pick that up really quick too. They're they're doubling up on me all over the place. That's okay. I mean, I'm not mad. Okay, I'm going back in. Okay, so I dropped off the Uber order because it was like two miles away, and this DoorDash order is 12 minutes back into Martinez. I feel like I've driven all the way in Martinez like all day today, and that's okay. That's okay. It's just weirdly like sucked back into that area. I was gonna try to stay in Concord, but now they're like, no, this order is gonna take you 10 minutes back to where you had just left. Oh my God, like really? I wanted to be back in the city, but no, like, I mean, maybe it's better. Maybe it is better to be in areas so that there might be less drivers in general. So that's kind of what I've been learning, which is kind of cool, but it's also just weird. So yeah, 10 minute drive ahead of me and, uh. See you at the drop off. For Matt? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. And your drink. Thank you. And with that, we have dropped off our Wendy's order. And we are now at 48% acceptance rating. So two more percent and then I can go home for the day and call it good. We're gonna keep driving around and seeing what we can get. I might head back. I'm so far away. I'm like at an area that's like right before there's a toll bridge to get out of this area. So like, I'm so glad I didn't have to cross that toll bridge because that's a $7 toll and I hate that. You shouldn't be allowed to have to take a bridge that's $7 and not get compensated for it, because spoilers, you don't. Now let's hope we get another order as I head back into town, I guess. I just got an order for a Safeway order, 575 for 1.2 miles. I think I'm gonna take it. It's just getting a some kind of alcohol order. So I'm gonna go do that. And I'm gonna have to scan ID. Yep, yep, I know how that works. I've definitely done this many times now. And we're almost at the Safeway. So heck yeah, let's do it. Right, looks like it's six cans of steel reserve. So super easy, let's do it. All right, so they are completely out of this beer in the store. I even had a lady go back and check the back room and she said, yep, they don't have it. So I'm waiting to see. Oh, oh, substitution submitted. Smirnoff Ice Smash. Okay, five of them. All right, let's see if they have them. Let's go. Well, I found it. A few minutes later. All right, well, that was a big waste of time. They requested something different and they also didn't have that substitution they only had one can of what they wanted so they just said to refund it all that's what i did doordash has given me three dollars to make up for it yay i was there for like 20 minutes that sucked uh oh well let's get back to it i guess and after that disaster of an order look what i just got actually i think i'm gonna take it because it's actually not bad 19 dollars 1.3 miles 16 items at food max so let's take that thank you and I'm right across the street, so <laughs> looks like it's like eight items. Tortillas, hot sauce, Spanish rice, oh, Tillamook, taquitos. I guess they're having a Mexican dinner and some Neko. All right, let's go inside. And yes, I will be breaking out the cold bag so that the ice cream doesn't melt. It's like 100 degrees today. So, you know. These ones? I think I found a piece. That's it. Aisle five. Hot sauce and spinach rice. Why am I unable to find it? I mean, there's hot sauce. Mahatma spinach rice mix. 
where you be. That's why they were up high. They want the bigger bottle size, but you know what? They don't have that, so you get this. Oh yeah, they do have it as a substitute. Oh, extra. They wanted extra hot. Okay, let's get two of those. Those fried beans. These look like they'd be in like cold. Yeah, these are refrigerated beans. Fried taquitos. Beef and chicken. So they don't have the size they wanted, but this is basically double. So I'll just buy one of those, I think. Hopefully that's what they want. Got it. All right, now we're on our short four minute drive. So I haven't shopped at Food Max before. And we're here. All right, I'm getting tired. Am I at 50% yet? Ooh, it's hot. Good tip though, that was a $10 tip. I love that. Looks like we're at 49%. So one more order maybe, hopefully, and then I can call it for today. Oh my God, I just got a two order pickup that's gonna take me kind of far away but it was like 23 dollars on um uber and i was like well i haven't got anything from doordash in a minute and look the sun's coming down so i'm like oh, i really hope i get another doordash five seconds later and now i just got doordash for 22 dollars going in the same direction so uh we're gonna make like 35 bucks from all these orders right now so let's uh let's do that <laughs> i'm so excited you don't understand and hopefully you get to 50 percent after this order please Please let this be enough so I can go home and have my own dinner tonight. Let's get Andrew's order. Mr. Lee chicken. I have a uh, Andrew R for it. Oh. This one? Okay, Thank perfect. You. Thank you. I dropped off the Uber orders, which I'm not showing you guys all that. I'm only showing DoorDash today, but I'm still like multi-apping because in my area I have to. <laughs> I just dropped off and I am less than two miles away from the DoorDash drop off. So super excited that these were both in the same area. And I feel like I was pretty efficient time-wise. So hopefully they'll be happy getting their food, their dinner. Then I get to have dinner. Let's drop this off and uh, see how we did and see if we get to 50%, right? Right. Oh my god! And that'll do it, guys. We got silver. Holy cow. Okay, that was well worth it. Look at that tip. Never good enough. They're like, oh, you're at 50%? Now you gotta get to 70. Priority for higher paying offers, early access to scheduling. Heck yeah. That is nice, because sometimes it's, I can't always schedule to dash in certain areas right now, but hopefully that will help. So that's huge. All right, we did it. The goal for today has been completed. I feel good. Now I'm kind of curious what my next day is going to look like. And I guess I will tally up how much we made and uh, talk to you about that at the very end here, so don't go anywhere. I'm gonna have to do that when I get home though, cause it'd be too confusing right now. And to wrap up, here's all the orders we completed today. There was six orders total, made a total earnings of $73.50 plus a $5 cash tip. And because I'm in California, Prop 22 earnings added an extra $44.68. And we did hit silver status today, total earnings $123.18 at an average hourly rate of $15.39. So not great hourly, but pretty decent overall. And I'm excited to continue doing DoorDash as a silver dasher now and see if the orders are actually that much better. I do want to make more videos like this. I am moving here soon within the month, so I will be learning that market as well it's been kind of slow but after today i'm feeling i'm feeling good i feel like i think things are looking up i think we'll be able to make a little bit more money and uh you know pay off some debt and bills and all that fun stuff so if you want to come along for the ride make sure you leave a like 
leave me a comment. Let me know what you liked about this video. I don't know. I don't know how I'm going to edit this. So hopefully you guys liked it. If you did, let me know. If not, also let me know so I can make it better. Thank you guys so much and I will see you guys in the next one. I don't know what my outro is yet, so bye.